Jimmy, please say something. James? What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like I said before, Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you little brat! You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you, you little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our honeymoon next year. Here we are, boy, Bullworth Academy. Have fun, Jimmy. I'll think of you from our cruise ship. <laughs> Whatever. Hello. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is part two to my walkthrough for Bully uh, for the PlayStation 2 on the PlayStation 5. Whatever you want to call it. Um, let me adjust the volume on the headset. Okay, so continuing where we left off. Just woke up, so we're gonna, gonna, gonna go ahead and use the old chemistry set over here and. It's like we're just in time for class to start. Let's see, let me get this goddamn jacket out of my way. <laughs> Art 2, alright, so. I'm gonna do that real quick. That's actually gonna help us out for these next few missions. In a way that I'll show you in a minute. Alright, so. Getting back into it. All I need to do is. Turin already <laughs> as you can see uh, don't try and go upstairs on a skateboard you will wipe out and that is embarrassing you are violating your the dude chasing me buddy that is gonna grab me last minute sometimes he does that ah here we are again. Please get out your sketchbooks. Part two. Same shit as last time, just a little bit more uh, advanced. Yeah. So. Let's see what we got. Beating this class, uh, you will actually get a 50% health bonus from kissing rolls. <laughs> It's gonna be a big ass chunk. Yeah. There we go. 
Oh. Oh. I wasn't certain if I was going to make that or not. I didn't think I was gonna make that one, I was just, just getting cocky. I can go straight down. Yeah. Figured I'd be able to beat it. You've certainly captured my character. What's next today? Uh gym class. I should give lessons! I can skip that, maybe. Glad that's done. Be stupid. Maybe I should abuse my authority and pick up. I wish my work had the Oh, excuse me, would you help me, please? Hang on a second, I got How are you, honey? business Can to attend to. Can you give to. me something that will remind me of you? No you I've been thinking about you. In the shower? This is so sweet. If you kiss once a day, you'll live longer. I, have to go. I you think go. I'm in love. That's how you do that. So now I'm at 150% health instead of just 100. <laughs> I and can't wait to graduate, I'm about to go do, so I can do that all the, time. the last mission for chapter one, which is our first like actual boss battle, I guess you could call it. Um so. important to have that shield. And as many weapons as you can get. It can get difficult. Let's see, so if you remember from last time, the uh, bullies, the people in the the white, all those. You should. Oh my goodness! Rubbing one out. Really. There you are. Come on, I found something incredible. Hold on, relax, man. I can't keep getting in trouble. I can't get expelled again. It's always about me with you. Me, me, me. I'm thinking bigger picture, and you're worrying about getting into trouble? You know what? You really are something. What bigger picture? I'm, uh, we are gonna take over this school. We are not taking over anything right now. Time and tide wait for no man, my friend. But it seems they do wait for a wannabe tough guy who's nothing but a little girl. You're full of it. So you keep telling me, look, now come on, I promise you, after this, things are never going to be the same again. Oh, I'm so excited! I should have stopped taking those pills ages ago. Yeah, right. Whatever you say, Gary. So true. So true. Well, anyway. Uh, like I was saying, the bullies or whatever, were at, uh... Oh, J, wrong button. We're at zero percent respect. Also, on side they attack you. So, gotta be kind of careful. They're not too hard to fight, but you know, it can still get annoying. When you're trying to do stuff. Hey, idiots! I eat ribs. Right, Jimmy? Look at the pep squeak go! You're gonna hate me forever. Are you hurting yet? Your mama hit me. Get closer. You're doing yeah. stop. You're come on. Hey, I'll get revenge. Look at the pep squeak go! Come on, girly, fight! Yeah. yeah, while you're doing that, I'm gonna grab these marbles. <laughs> oh shit! Actually, took a little bit of damage. Yeah, the fucking nerds are there cheering us on. What's up, buckaroo? After you didn't even go after me. So, Gary just likes to start shit. This is a little different. You know how it is. You better lead the way. I lead the way, even though I've never been down here before. There controls the door. Switch. Uh. Right, these controls are irritating me a little bit. You're really gonna like this, Jimmy. I wonder if that's true. Hey, we're supposed to be in gym right now, but that cage wasn't locked skipping before. Skipping class. I don't really feel like doing gym right now. Sorry, right, you'll be able to go back and do it later. Just dodgeball. Jimmy, over here. Is 
Just give me anything. Stick. We can't get in there. How can we get at the switch? Ooh, I have an idea. Slingshot with a uh, <laughs> scope on it. Jimmy, you dunce! Use your sling. Would you hurry there, Jimmy? Yeah, I know what to do. Now here's another switch. You smacked around talking oh, to me like that. Oh, wires! Hmm, looks like I have to hold this down. This might come in handy. You climb through and get the switch. What if you let go? Almost just... there. Pride. Yeah, somebody, uh, one of our students died in the fucking basement today. Um, yeah, they just kind of got electrocuted. <laughs> huh, a steam leak. I've heard of those happening, but I've never seen one. That's what I was talking about earlier with the, uh... Oh, and a I transistor. Destroy these pumpkins. Oh, there's a fire extinguisher in plain view. It's the last time you'll be able to do this. So. This is every pumpkin that you missed during the Halloween level. And I didn't smash a single one, I don't think, so that's why they're all down here. If you could lower the furnace temperature a bit, I bet the steam would stop. I thought he was about to punch Gary in the face. There you go. Yeah, there's the fire extinguisher. I think we use one of these yet. Oh, there's a fire extinguisher. Before it heats up again. Let's go. Pretty sure you can't take the fire extinguisher into this next part. I think I've tried it, he just drops it. Unless you, it won't let you take it. Oh well. Check in to see if there's anything like What is all this? This looks useful. You get all 70 rubber band 75 rubber bands in the game. Uh you unlock a secret weapon. It has like infinite ammo, basically. Where we came from, I believe. Yeah. So, Jimmy boy, here we are. The hole. The place where this school separates the men from the boys. The wheat from the chaff and all that nonsense. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people? Keeping them in line? This is where I stand up to you, my friend. What are you talking about? I know you hate me, Jimmy boy. I know you said all that stuff about me behind my back. What are you talking about? Don't play innocent with me. You want to run this school? I want to run this school. Only one of us is going to make it. And it's going to be me! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and morons, I give you... Russell! Oh, man. Me, Russell! Gary, now I hate you. I know. Russell, go beat that little jerk who said that nasty stuff to me about your mom and those barnyard uh, animals. What? Come here. Russell wants vengeance. Oh, yeah. So now we have to fight the biggest dude in the school. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Distance. <laughs> I'm gonna tear you apart! I'm gonna 9-11 this guy. Oh, I missed me. Smash you. Uh. Oh, that like, did damage to me, too. Oh, shit. Just whip his ass. I can do as much damage as I can. As fast as I can. Starts doing a bunch of crazy shit here in a minute. Oh god. Yeah, if you couldn't already tell, Gary's kind of like fucking insane. Um, doesn't even do anything. Oh my god. If you have to have someone else fight your battles for you, you're probably not going to make it that far. Alright, did it. It actually wasn't that bad.
You happy now, jerk? Ecstatic. I love to watch two morons beat the crap out of each other. Why'd you do it, Gary? I thought we were friends. <laughs> friends? You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. No. I'm taking over this school, and you're just a liability. See you around, moron. Well done, Jimmy. Yeah, great. What a waste of time. You all right, Russell? Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah? Look, I never said anything about your mom or farmyard animals. You did it? No, but I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. So I want you to leave me and him alone. Oh, okay. Sorry. Bad Russell. So now the respect from the bullies is at 100%, and it remains that way the rest of the game. So they're they're good with us now. And that big motherfucker is like our one of our best with friends. With Russell pacified, I could be forgiven for thinking my troubles at Bullworth were over. But this place is a rotten onion. Peel off one stinking layer, and there's another even smellier one beneath. The map just got way bigger. You can leave campus now. Do all kinds of crazy shit. Ride bikes, like go to the store, you know. Well, Jimmy, word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. No, sir, I never pugilized in my life. Really? And that you've been saying some entertaining things about me and some barnyard animals? No, I never said that. Well, I listen to things, Hopkins. You try and stay out of trouble. Now go see the cook down in the kitchen. Helping her might teach you some humility. Okay, sir. Hey, new kid. You're that guy that beat up Russell. So, what's it to you? Hey, listen, we like to box, the noble art and all that. Why don't you come down by our gym in old Bullworth Vale? We should definitely hang out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Yup. Okay. On to chapter two. There is a lot of things we can do right now. Um, you know what? I really, really, really need some help. I ain't doing all the errands right now. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Don't make me come after you. She mad? You may wait quietly, very quietly. It's about time to go to class. I know what time it is. You're ridiculous. Look at you. Now you've done it. I didn't mean to do that, my bad. Alright, whatever. <laughs> yeah, they get mad when you insult them. Crazy, huh? Give it like five seconds, and I'm gonna be in trouble for you. See? Yes, may I help you? That's what I was trying to do. But she wasn't even that mad about it. Hey, uh, you want a boyfriend? I like you, Jimmy, but I just wanted to shouldn't. show you I care. You know. Oh, Jimmy, that's you get so that nice of you. Back. Hey, Jimmy. You look for some reason, it went away. <laughs> after, uh, after that <laughs> chapter transition. <laughs> Alright. First class, I think mm. it's shop now. That was Yeah, shop one. Nice. We just unlocked uh, two new classes. That's one of them. This is an important one to do. Because um, once you beat shop one, you unlock the garage. And all over the map, there are garages. Um, you can go to any of them and get out uh, your bike stuff. Which we're also about to unlock the first bike. If I beat this, that is. Probably mention that. Shop, shop is similar to chemistry. Jim. Go stand over by the bike workstation. Wait, I don't get to work on cars? Cars are for seniors. You gotta walk before you can run, boyo. Here, let me see. Not too shabby, huh? You gotta be kind of quick with it, or it won't count it. Shutting up and working? 
It works. You're showing yeah, promise, that's it. Hopkins. All right. Unlock this piece of shit. It's not a good bike, but it's available. Simple. So. Say bye bye. Yep. Hundred percent. Oh wow. Okay. Watch out. Sorry, chick. Oh wow, I'll do I have that. stuff too? No. See, so now we got the garage is available. So first thing I'm gonna do, we just unlocked a whole bunch of new area, right? I'm uh, about to go to Carnival. Which if you're not familiar with this game, yeah. There's a carnival in town. And there's like games you can play and you get tickets and stuff and you can use the tickets to buy stuff like um, for 75 tickets you can buy a moped which is what I'm gonna go do because it's the third fastest vehicle in the game and you know that's gonna be really helpful for getting around the only downside to it is that um, if you ride it without a helmet on, then, you know, prefects and cops try to bust you. Yeah, I mean, cops are an issue now. They weren't before, but and now they are. Yep, here we are. You're so, one ugly piece of oh wow, did you hear that? So, there are a lot of ways to earn You're tickets. Really this is probably the most efficient way, is to just do this one over and over and over and over and over, and over again. Because it's really easy to do, you know, it's it's the fastest, you just, you do what you gotta do, you get your tickets and you go. But it, it, it does take a while because, I mean, you, know, you, you gotta get 75 fucking tickets. I think there's a screen. Um, stats? Probably under games, yeah. Yeah, so it'll tell us the tickets that we got. You need 75 for the, uh, the moped, scooter, whatever you want to call it. Wow. And then there's really also the two posters in there you can get. And there's a mission that takes place in the carnival where you gotta collect tickets, and if you have all the tickets already, then you basically, yeah, you don't have to do all this. So, it's helpful to, like, as soon as you get into chapter 2 to do this, it kinda sets you up for success the rest of the game. There was a time, like, I remember in high school, I had a friend of mine who had a, uh, a moped, and it was a one-seater. Right? It only had one seat. And, I don't know, for some reason, I thought it would be a good idea to ride on the back of this thing with him. Like, we traveled across town, the both of us, on a one-person moped. And, you know, teenagers are fucking stupid. Okay, they are. I was one of them, so I know. I know firsthand. Because... That is a really bad idea. Don't ever do that. <laughs> I was hanging wow. on for yeah, dear life. I mean, it, it... Like, he took a, probably 70% of the seat. You're stronger than you look. It, I, I had... I was, I was holding on to done. him, like, for dear life. Like... Could have very easily yeah, died. Really I definitely lucky, wasn't huh? wearing a helmet. <laughs> I don't tell that's... Uh, that's one of the things I... After I moved out, like, you know, I became, like, more like buddy-buddy with my parents, and I told them all kinds of crazy shit. That's one thing I, I still, I don't think I've told them. Don't mind me. Life's been hard. It's just, it's just so stupid. No. Well, I did all kinds of bad shit as a kid. Um, there we go. Done. Me and my friends, uh, 
Let's Two of them in particular. Like I mean, we just... I don't know. I had a buddy, a uh... Now, any of you folks watching, try and talk and that's I'll, I'll just call him John. I mean, he's, he's in prison now, so it doesn't matter, like, whatever I say. Like, he's... I mean, he's already locked up, so, like, you know, whatever. We were probably, like... I think I was... Well, I was 16, and he was 15. And that's nice when work, most Jimmy. of it... Yeah, we did most of it. Um... Wow. To think. You really there was uh, one time that he accidentally shot out a, a window winner. to a and Chinese restaurant with a BB gun. And, and it was completely on accident. Like, okay, so the way the BB gun works, if you don't know, you pump it, and the more pumps, the like harder it hits. So we were going around town. We both we both had one, and uh, it was like a a, a rifle. And so this is probably like three or four a.m. That's when most of these stories take place. I would, you yeah, know, tell my parents I was gonna go stay the night at his place, but you know, we would go to bed early, wake up around like two a.m., and then go out and just tear shit up all through town. And uh, well, he put this thing on like twenty-five pumps and shot like a street light, like the light bulb, and it didn't do anything to it. So we're like, oh, okay, whatever. So he puts it on like five pumps. It goes off by accident. I think, and then, like, it hits the and glass, it shatters. Well like, I'm surprised because, you know, it couldn't shatter a light bulb, but, like, this glass, you must have had a good horse go like, today. obliterated it, yeah. And these BB guns were also well, stolen, so we, uh, ran across the parking lot and threw them All in a creek, sorted. and then ran home. Um, on the but way home, I made a post on Facebook that was, like, saying that he and I were at home watching The, the Hangover. You know, that was, like, our, our alibi. And then once we got home, I took a picture right. of the TV, like, an hour or so into the movie. And then, like, updated the post and added the picture. So, like, nothing ever came of that, but, you know, just in case it did. We have a winner. Now, any of you folks watching, try and talk No sweat. Whatever. Check my tickets real quick. Fifty four. So, yeah, we're You're getting there. Sorry, <clears throat> oh, God. Probably one of the wow. worst things we ever did really was um, we went out one time with a water bottle full of gasoline. I think the plan was you to like write our names right, in the street with gasoline and set it on fire. And I don't know. done. But we didn't make it that far. We got like down the street and went you across like been hard. this patch of grass, and then we were like behind a bunch of buildings. And we were behind like uh, big really lots and a goodwill and shit like that. And done right. And we, one of us, I, I was probably it was probably him, but I don't want to wow. you know say it, you know everything was him. You know, like I was there too, you know, just as much as Bolt, but. He poured the gasoline over, over this couch. Like, it was gonna get thrown away, you know, it was next to a dumpster, so we were like, fuck it, it's just trash. So, we set it on fire and was watching it burn and stuff like that, and there was a factory nearby, and the, the night shift was on, like, break or something, and they were watching, and started calling 911. Uh, somehow, the dumpster caught fire, I don't remember how that happened. But, I was like, dude, we have to go, like, right now. Okay. Like we, all this shit today. we did, we got away with all of it except for this, and it was because he wanted to stay. He was like, "No, I want to see what happens when the bottle of gasoline like catches fire, like if it I'm explodes done. and you know whatever." So we're sitting there waiting. I'm like, "Dude, we gotta go, like right now." He's like, "Nah, nah." See so we see like, like headlights, you know, come around the corner. So we take off running the opposite direction, run Ladies straight into a cop car. You know, the cop gets out, he's like, good seriously though. guys, seriously, <laughs> puts us both in handcuffs, and then gets like a fire extinguisher out of the trunk and puts the fire out. Fire department shows up, you know, but they don't do anything because the fire is already put out. Uh, we didn't get arrested, you know, we were underage or whatever, they went to the police station and they were asking us questions and shit like that. They were like... You, know, you gotta call your parents. It's like, God damn it. Let's see how good your past life was. He tried. He he. Like I don't remember what he did. I think he was 
acting like he didn't know his mom's phone number or something like that. I called my mom, you know, the, my parents are asleep. My mom and my stepdad, they were like, sleeping because they got work the next day. And really I call him, like, hey, can you come pick me up? She's like, what, what's going on? I'm like, oh, I'm uh, at the police station. <laughs> You're so fucking pissed, bro. Um, the detective, he was actually pretty cool. Like, he, I guess he thought, like, there was something wrong with this. Because, you know, why the fuck would somebody do that, like, just for the hell of it? He was you like, he, he thought we were like pyromaniacs. He was like, you know, if there's, you know, if you, good. What can I if you feel like you, like, can't not start fires or whatever, I mean, there helps available, da 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 da. So he's pretty cool. And, you know, nothing happened. We just got picked up. I think the reason that we didn't get in trouble is because it was, like, literally trash. And it got put out so easy. You know, there was no damage to the building or whatever. They tried, they called on 911 and they tried to say that, like, the fire was taller than the building, which that was not true at all. Like, it wasn't the hellfire they made it out to be. But, you know. 87. That's enough for the, uh, for the scooter. Let me do it a couple more times so I can get the other shit. I don't remember exactly how much you need. I'll probably do it like two or three more times. I'll be done. Don't mind me. Also, using up our money too, so. Gotta be careful with that. Uh, now that that guy that John though he's like I'm good. That's all there is to it. Not diagnosed, but I think he's actually like a sociopath. Cause like wow, I've kind of really bought a ticket. Like as I got older, I realized things. You know, like he has you know You're those similar traits. Look. Like he literally he did not care about Glad anything. But I just thought he was such a cool dude, and I would just I don't know. I wanted to impress him, and we always you match each other's energy. So. And don't get me wrong, it's it's fun to go out and tear shit up, but you know, I, I, some of that shit I do kind of feel bad about now that I'm an adult. You now this was like 10 years ago. And like some of it, like yeah, I do regret it. But I'll, some of it, I mean, you know, there's nothing you can do, but I can't go back in time and change it, so I might as well just laugh about it, you know. So he and I went down two very different paths. I eventually was like, you know, this is not a sustainable lifestyle, and then he got... Worse. Oh, there's way more stuff in here. Get the scooter first Excellent of all. Excellent choice, son. Still got 20 tickets left. I'ma wait. Well, let me get the posters because those go up like in your bedroom, and I can finish that off. What's the other? It's a nice little thing, ain't it? Got one ticket. I'm gonna do that game three more times, then later on in the game, uh, you have to get like this. Well, I'm not gonna spoil it, but I'm gonna do this three more times so that I don't have to do it later. And after that, we got some racing to do, actually. Don't mind me. Life's been hard. So, the fastest vehicle in the game hook, is a go kart. I'm good. What you can can't I start say? driving it until chapter five. But, I'm gonna show you how to get that, because it's badass. So we'll basically be using like a moped and some bikes until shop well, five. So we get that superior vehicle. Jimmy Hopkins delivered. Alright, so I'm gonna do this one more time and then I'm gonna go over there. Feeling really lucky, huh? 30 bucks. That's it. We have a winner! I'm trying to think of some other, like, funny stories. I'll come back to it. Got a freak show over here. Let's see. There's not a whole lot you can do in here. But, some cool stuff. Oh, this dude, the skeleton. There was nothing I could do. There, there was nothing he could do. What's the point of that? <laughs> this is the uh He's what do they call it? leading you on! Don't believe him! Bad ugly stupid woman or whatever the fuck <laughs> a bearded woman. Yeah. Hilarious. Siamese so twisters. Do you kind of be picking up, huh? 
Well, don't put the cart before the horse, I say. Yep. Oh shit, I didn't even realize you could People do that. Tell me I'm lucky that I tried you can log on to them. There's no ring, but... The thing but is, you never really get to see anything. Can't One communicate day, with them, like but the game is like registering them as a lady. Because you can... Hit that hurt button. And we got some midget wrestling over here. I'm gonna put five dollars on the... On lightning. Or... Lightning's... No, that's not right. Lightning's the dude that the guy I put the bet on is fighting. Hell yeah. I got ten bucks out of that. You can come back and do that whenever. This might be useful. Tattooed man. And Joe! Joe! There's all different kinds of things in this game you can do, like gambling wise, where you can like lose all your money or like multiply it. But you know, it's a risk. Mermaid. It's pretty cool. You know, the concept of a mermaid is weird, because it's like there's no like reason, like from an evolutionary standpoint, why a fish would have hair. It's actually time for bed this game. I don't really have time to do this, but whatever. The Grand Prix race. It's Grand Prix. <laughs> so, step one to unlocking the go kart: beat all the uh, go kart races at the carnival. This is the first one. It's like we're racing against three nerds. And three laps. Made that bad. Uh, prove yourself, basically. Um, yeah. And this dude, John, once like he and I were walking around. Town, and you know, same as yeah, like 3 or 4 a.m. Same, same shit. And uh, he took like a, like a slab of concrete, like, like a giant piece of the street or whatever, the sidewalk, and threw it through somebody's window, like of their house. Like for no reason, no reason at all. Like, just like, I guess, because it was fun or funny or felt good or whatever. Because he was the kind of guy you could you could tell him like I dare you to do this like jokingly and he'll do it like he doesn't care and um, like I was saying earlier that shit eventually caught up to him um, he started getting into like hard drugs and stuff like that um, he went to jail a couple times over drug related stuff and at the time I was actually going to a, a school for, to, for uh, sociology um, so I was like you know I have like notes about like substance abuse Was and stuff like that like doubt? I could help you like if you want and you know, he just didn't want to or he stopped hanging out with me and started hanging out with people that could get him drugs so yeah, he'd tell me like Another yeah I woke up at the uh oh you get tickets for doing this too I feel like you I woke up at the uh the river walk and I have no idea how I got here but uh, yeah, I guess eventually one day he got super high on meth and beat the shit out of his girlfriend, put her in the hospital, and prison to the murder or something like that. Uh, yeah, so that happened. <laughs> so hopefully there's a good message here to those watching. Um, if you're gonna do some fucked up shit, do it before you turn 18. You know, because then it'll get expunged from your record. It's not that bad. Once you hit 18. Uh, don't do hard drugs. Because it can fuck your life up. You know, pop, mushroom, jam, yeah, whatever. Have, to have some duster, you know. Uh, go eat a moon pie. Chill out, you know. There ain't no reason to be like smoking meth and shit. Even though it feels amazing. <laughs> uh, they should really have me come talk to schools. Like now. Uh 
getting girls pregnant is easy, but it's also a lot of fun. Or other way around. Getting girls pregnant is fun, but it's also really easy. It's not though. From what I understand, I've never tried to have a baby, but that's what everybody tells me. Cause like I remember like being a teenager, everybody was afraid. Everybody had like a pregnancy scare, you know. They're like, yeah, I think my girlfriend might be pregnant. She feels like she's pregnant. I mean, you know, we always use condoms and birth control. It's like, okay, well, she's probably fine. Like, no, no, man, I really think she's pregnant. Like, you have to have, like, super sperm. Like, because I have some friends that, like, try to have a baby and, like, have unprotected sex for a lot. That's what the term, like, trying for a baby, because, like, you can literally do it the right way and it's still not working. So, there's that. It's weird. Like, one of my, like, closest friends, we met, like, five years ago. He has a baby now, so, like, six months old. And then one of my childhood best friends, or I guess not childhood, but, like, he's the friend, he's, he's the longest friendship I've ever had from, like, God, I think we met, like, when, I was, when we were both, like, freshmen in high school. Uh, he's, he just got engaged, and his girl's pregnant. Due in September. His baby, and my cousin, also, my cousin is married and has, his, has a baby on the way. Like, both of those babies are both, like, due in September. Like, that is crazy. It's like, what if they're born on the same day? And also, my brother's born in September. So it's like, what if they're all born on the same day? And I'm like, how crazy would it be if his baby was born on 9 11? Because <laughs> you'd have to kind of know him for that to be funny, but trust me, it is. Just believe me, okay? Uh, but. We're talking about bad shit. Uh, yeah. Me and this dude, John, though, like, we were, like,. I've never had a friend like him. Like he's he's still like he's one of the best friends I've ever had. But you know, despite all the shit that I've been talking, you know, and I don't I don't know. He wasn't even really there for me either when I had like problems or anything. Because he like was unable to like empathize or sympathize with people. Like he just wasn't something he was capable of. The closest he ever got was like I was coming to him about like some like real troubles or whatever. And he was like, uh, just don't think about that, man. <laughs> that was him, like, actually trying. Like, no, whatever. But no, nah, he just, I don't know, we got along a lot, and we were like, we had, you know, a lot in common, and, you know. I just, like, I just admired his I don't give a fuck mentality. And that he, like, wasn't scared of anything. But you know, it's good to be a little scared of things. But, uh, nah. Jesus Christ. One day, though, me me and two other guys, right, we went out tearing shit up. Um, and, uh, we were on the roof of Big Lots. <laughs> and had, like, a shopping cart full of shit. Up dumpster, the same one, yeah, I can't remember if this is before or after the fire, probably before, but we were like, you know, filled the shopping cart up with like old TV, old computer, stuff like that, and like rolled it off the roof and watched it break, stuff like that, well, this one guy, he had firecrackers, like he was like, fighting and throwing and shit around town, he dropped one down one of like the ventilation like pipes, like on top of the building, and the smoke did not stop coming, so we thought he set some shit on fire. So we're like, "Fuck, we gotta put it out." So what do we have on us? It's liquid, right? We had a gallon of paint. So we poured that shit down there and I put it out. Uh, to this day, though, like I went back like years later to the same location. Like there, there's that paint on top of the building. And you can still see our fucking footprints in the paint. And they're, 
I swear to god, there is a single, like, firecracker, like, mummified. It's just sitting up there for all eternity. Like, I'm gonna, I might have to try and go back there again. Like, what, eight years later? Let's see if that shit is still, like, there. Take a picture of it. That would be insane. That same night, um... Shit, I guess it's been long enough, I can probably... I mean, this was like 10 years ago, right? So, uh... There were these three guys, right? And... One of them set a, like, cardboard trash can on fire. Just, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it was on purpose. I think they, like... I don't remember what happened, but... They just came out of the uh, public bathroom and this like park or whatever to like this giant like fire. So they picked it up and threw it in the river. Yeah, you know, watched it bob away until it like burned out. There we go. Done. And uh Oh, is that all of them or I just I think there's more to do. Right? You're supposed to, after that, you unlock the street races. I didn't say that. I think it might just be too late to, to do them. Maybe, I don't know. Get out of my way, dude. Take this like, shitty bike back. Why are you late, curfew? Try and get back before I pass the fuck out. A lot of progress is made at the carnival. That's good. Yeah, he's coming after me. So you can take this bus stop. I'm gonna take you back to back to the school. Just helpful. Um. Anyway, so these three guys, they were like, "Wow, that's pretty cool." You know, that was the cool side, watching that thing drift down the river on fire. And you know, nothing like the only thing they got tore up was like trash, like literal, like actual trash, <laughs> and like a cardboard trash can. So. Um, so they're like, okay, so there's this, like, bridge over the river, like, for pedestrians that walk across and shit. This is, like, 3 a.m., so. So they take one up there, fucking light it on fire, to throw it over the bridge, watch it land in the water, and trip away on fire, because, you know, it would look cool. Any pranks? Can't let anyone know I still do that. I mean, I'd be... So, um... Uh, what was I gonna say? I don't know. I don't understand. It's class time soon. I might wait for that. We're doing these. I think if you whip the janitor's ass, you can take his broom. I'm gonna follow this guy around because um, he's got that gun. I wonder what everyone is talking about this. Are like kind of far away. There's one right over here, though. I'm gonna try to just beat him up real quick. He didn't even drop it. Damn. It was all for nothing. Oh, hi. Oh, uh, what class? Chemistry 3. Alright. Go do that real quick. That was the most aggressive moron I've ever heard. Person. Hey, we're gonna go to the class. We're gonna go to the class. So I, I guess it goes without saying that me and this guy went to high school together. We met when I was like a sophomore. We've got freshman. a lot of work before us today. And he already had like a group of friends, Take and we care to were all my friends. But precisely. he and I were like we will be working messing around the school. Volatile chemicals today. And. uh... We were doing something bad. I think we were like in a classroom, like a, not an abandoned classroom per se, I guess, but like it didn't get used. They doing something, and he was like, "Good job." He was just like, "Hey, you're cooler than so and so," you know. He's like, "You actually like aren't scared to do shit." <laughs> so, 
My best friend at the time got suspended, so it was just me by myself, and then also my girlfriend broke up with me. Like so that. That explains why I was like clinging on to this guy and trying to like get his approval. Hopkins comes through. Itching powder now available. Sweet. Well, anyway, so this like That's flaming yours. trash can went over. The, uh, was was supposed to go over the bridge and land in the water. Well, what happened is it hit the top, came back down, and erupted into a giant fire on this wooden bridge. <laughs> so they tried to stomp it out, and um, it worked as far as they knew. So this was like 3 a.m. They left, uh, you yeah, know, went home, went to bed. Apparently, about three hours later, around 6 a.m., somebody called 911 and said, yeah, there's smoke coming from the bridge. Well, apparently there was like smoldering ash, like it was smoldering under the ash where there was, it didn't look like there was no more fire or smoke when the three left, but Bunch it burned a hole of thieving in the jerks. bridge. What's up, Melvin? Ah, Still greetings. there to this day, like they hadn't, they haven't fixed it. Jeez. They just put like a metal Listen, plate over it. Some ruffians took it upon themselves to steal my grottos and gremlins character sheets and won't return them. We're playing tonight. The whole situation is untenable. Grottos and gremlins? Boy, you are sad. Sad? I'm distraught! Role-playing is the high point of human achievement. In fact, upon reflection, I am prepared to offer a bag of groats to the fair knight, whomsoever recovers these precious screens. Do you accept the quest? How much? Ten groats. What? I mean, ten bucks. Wait here. And you can have your pick of my wenches. Great. <laughs> Rados and Gremlins, this sounds a lot like... Oh, no I, don't, I don't think... He, this isn't like a mandatory mission, but, you know. I'm going for all this. Alright, you've got something of Melvin's. Give it up! Alright, I'll give it to you if you beat my friend in a little game. He kicks you in the nuts. And you kick him in the nuts until one of you gives up. If you win, you get the sheep. If not, we keep it. That's just stupid. Maybe, but I go first. <laughs> That's some funny stuff right there. Okay, you win. I give up. That's like the smartest dude in that. Ohio. Uh, he said Ohio. Oh my god, man. Now oh, they're about to go take whoop their ass. ass. Did you hear him? I'm gonna kick your ass. This is the funnest piece of paper I've ever had. This dude. What? It's annoying. You forgot your plus speedy boots Hi. or whatever? Have a nice Is it that? God damn it. Oh. Fuck. Wait, is that. You chase him and he like jumps over the side. Some hero you are. Come on, I'm right here. Yeah, I know. Dude, you're slow. Are you? How do you like I'm just gonna collect this. Trying to get tripped with marbles again. Hey, there we go. What's with the unfair fighting? I think I'll keep this. Well, I didn't want to get tripped again, so that's, that's why you get blown up. <laughs> you asked. That's the answer. There's fucking Please help us, Jimmy! You can't mess with Russell. Having fun? I'll aid you in your battle you know against evil. Well, there's an issue no, right here, like. Right I've never done this with prefix on our ass, so this is weird. Like, going to run right oh, so you leave me alone, God damn it! Because if I fail this mission, I'm gonna be pissed. No, Get away I've from me! You. Fucking piece of shit, leave me alone. Don't stop. This is great. I guess I gotta like to leave and come you. back. No timer, so that's good. They're still after me. Yes. Get away from this retard. Stick it in your I went down the steps. Why the fuck did that wipe out? Like, here he is. This dude, right? Just, just hit me with a brick. 
What have we here? Okay. Get go, out go, of my go. face! Go, 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 Shit! Get the fuck away from me. English right now. Still got another character sheet to grab, though. This one I think is pretty easy. It's just like right over here. Oh, come on! There's no such thing as magic, Dweeb! Why do you have to be so mean? Oh, oh my god! Oh. Fastest way to get that. <laughs> Did one have to do that? I'm surprised it didn't do damage to the other dude, Melvin, I guess is. Or no, not Melvin. It's one of the nerds, but. This is Melvin. Here we go. You recovered my precious documents! Thank you, sir! You are a noble man indeed! Just give me the money, Melvin. Uh, uh, you have earned it! And don't forget about the wenches! Brilliant! Easy. You know, like, one girl. Sweet! You know, she's really hot and actually talked to me the other day. Was that an orc or a job? That's it? Alright, now I'm gonna try to move class before I don't. Or I'm not able to do that anymore. Uh, English 3. You little worm! I'm you literally bet. headed to class right you. now. Never leave a man oh yeah, since you got 100% respect from bullies, they, um, the downstairs. <laughs> they actually will help you out in, like, fights and stuff. Like, if you start fighting somebody and they see it, They'll join in and help you. Real learning is unstructured. That's what I've always said. That's what you've always said, huh? Alright. Oh man, there's a lot of fucking words. Good one. Uh well done. That's right! Keep it up! Good show! That's right! Timeless. Keep it up! It... Yeah. Well done! Good show! Good one. Uh, uh. Well done. That's right. Did I do S? Keep it up. That's one. I'll. Good one. Good show. Smile and smiles. Keep it up. Well done. Slime. Good Probably show. Probably slimes too. Good yeah. one. There you go. Uh, slim, slims. That's right! Well done! Uh, there's not very many missing. Now, uh, semi. Good show! Uh. Keep I don't it know up! What that is, but. <laughs> works. Oh, aisles. Good one. And there's only one word. What is it? Uh, it's not miss. S. Yeah, That's right. Well done, word. James. Well done indeed. Yeah, you ain't got to tell me. I already know. I'm that guy. So what do we get from this? So, one of my kitty cats.
I don't ever want to This whole give school is right in the core. Buzz off. Really need to beat someone soon. Stop that or I'll beat you. Okay, Come so Come on, I was just kidding around. Yeah, now we can apologize for little shit. I'm good. Just for the prefix though. Just for the Job prefix. well done. Oh shit. I hit the wrong button. My bad. What the fuck was that? Just heard something like collapse in the other room. Uh, uh, which one is this? Patrick versus Galloway. We'll do that real quick. School rules are quite clear on this subject. Quite clear. No alcohol on school grounds. Uh, You're drunk. Uh -huh. I can smell it on your breath. Uh -huh. I can see it in your eyes. I'm not drunk. Drunk? In charge of children? What kind of monster drinks in front of children? A uh, parent? A disgraceful one, yes. You've got a problem, haven't you? Uh, I'm just under a lot of pressure. Uh. Well... I'm a kind and supportive colleague, Galloway. And as such, I think it is my duty to get you sacked. Uh, do whatever you want, Hattrick. You always do. The head will find out about this. You okay, sir? Ah, uh, Jimmy. No, I'm not okay. I'm half drunk, and I'm about to get fired. Fantastic! Oh, I'm a washed-up old drunk, and I'm only 34. English, you see, is a difficult subject to teach. I've tried any number of things to dull the pain. Yoga, meditation, needlepoint, looking at dubious sites on the internet. But nothing dulls the pain like scotch. Come on, sir, put that away. Are you mad? This is manna from the gods! Give me that! Let's get rid of this before you get busted. Oh, that's very kind of you, Jimmy. Miss Phillips is the only teacher to know about my vice. Take it to her. She will know what to do. What the f <laughs> So yeah, we gotta go around the school and collect um is like hidden alcohol and give it to Miss Phillips, our teacher. This is the first part of a uh, saga between these two fellas. He's a drunk. I don't like these that. Very serious allegations, Mr. Hunter. There it is. I get it. Go. Oh target. shit. Get it. Go. And there's one down here too, but. Get down on the floor with both hands behind your head. Oh my god, you get out of my fucking way. Pumpkins! I see you there! Ah! Oh, wait! Oh god. Oh no god. I won't... That's fine. Try... <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna jump down on my skateboard, but they're not after me really anymore, so. Whatever. And then there's. Yeah, there's the last one in here. It's the easiest one to get. Okay, can't hop over that. You! What are you doing? Cool! That's disgusting! What do you think I'm doing? Evil doer! Oh gosh. <laughs> cool. And you do this mission, I think, to unlock the camera, which you need to, uh. Photography, so you also unlocked the photography class for doing this. Uh, the rest of the missions between Hatchick and Galloway, I'm gonna wait a little bit to do until we get like better shit. Makes it easier, because they're not like mandatory. Here they are. I think that's all of them. Thanks, Jimmy. You're welcome, Miz. Please take this. Hell yeah. I wonder what's going on there. Maybe she's selling it to old dude. Or just giving it to I don't know. Ain't no stopping Jimmy Hopkins. So 
Let's see. Got the moped in here. Oh, actually, I forgot that we got a transistor, so. Let's go do a little help. Let's go do that. And then, um, we got that other mission to do, helping the lunch lady. I suppose you want to train again? No, it, buddy. Just what I wanted. This was my favorite combination back when I... Okay, yeah, that's a cool one. This one, like, anyone that you fight, pretty much. That'll knock them on the ground. You got some real promise, Unless they're, like, it. really strong. Scared then it'll just drunk, huh? trip them a little bit, like it did with him. Don't forget to bring me a transistor when you come back. That is a helpful-ass move. That was easy. Worth getting. I always wondered what it'd be like to be big and tough. Oh, nice. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I know there's someone out there that plays this game just to like mess with the girls. Stimulate or simulate. That's what I'm saying. Simulate like some sort of like intimacy. I heard someone died on the roller coaster. Instead of like going out and like talking to actual real humans. I mean, you know, whatever. Humans are complicated, and sometimes difficult to deal with. Like, I kind of get it. <laughs> nice! Ah, shut up, kid! It adds flavor to it! Uh, you wanna give it a go? Sure. Achoo. Achoo. Try and get some bits in it. I've got performance anxiety. <laughs> get used to it, kid. You're a man. It's all downhill from here, my friend. Anyway, what do you want? Nothing. The head sent me. He did? Oh, yeah! I need you to go to town and pick up some meat and other things for me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to have to put one of Ms. Phillips' cats in the casserole again. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, let me see. I need some meat from Yum Yum Market. Oh, and a razor from the barbers for my stash. And, um, oh yeah, some new knickers from Worn In. I've had these on since last term. Ha ha ha! Hurry up! Go, take my bike. It's that fine machine out there by the school gates. All right. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I think I would just go to McDonald's if I went to school here. Oh, hell, yeah, there's fresh fruit, like, on the table. What a lightweight. All the more reason to, uh, get healthy, yeah? Yeah, we're not taking that fucking bike. We're taking this moped that I just worked. Oh, so dearly. Oh, so hard for her. At the car. Go for the juggler! Try not to run anybody over her, because they'll be on my ass. You go, I think you go this way. Hell no. Over here. This way. I think this mission is basically to kind of like introduce you to the new areas of the game. Uh, the shops and whatnot. Uh, yeah, that right, red door right there, that's another uh, garage. It's one of the many ones you can use to access your vehicles. So, Did you take so, my give me on market. Okay, it's one of our stops. Hi, can I? Ah, oh, yes, the discount. I'm gonna load up on. Goodbye. Get right now. All right. I cut him off, but he says, um. Ah, uh, yes, the discount meat, it expires at midnight. Yeah. Hello, my friend. People leave stuff lying around everywhere. Barbershop. Is that it? Okay. I'm confused as to why it let me buy a soda. So I'm like, I didn't have health missing, did I? 
but I'm just not noticing my shield is gone. I don't remember, like, it leaving. Let's see, it was, uh, got the razor, got the, the food. What's up? Clothes. Sweet! I guess that's it. I thought there was a fourth thing. Maybe not. Take the bus back. I'll just, I'll just take this. It don't matter. Damn, it's getting kind of like the day in the game. And technically in real life. Ah! Are you a wood button? Onks. That's not it. I don't know. Whatever. story I was telling earlier about that that fire or whatever that actually made the news so that's it's funny I heard it's best that's what I forgot to say about that school closes at 7 um, forgot about that you better use that meat soon the clerk said it expires at midnight nonsense there are no fuzzy eaters at Bullworth it'll last for a month I don't think that's how that works I got about 40 more minutes to stream where I gotta get out for here and be a uh, contributing All member sorted. of society. How'd oh, your fellow fool work the cat? I ain't doing that right now. I really love Later. We're trespassing. Uh, all the clicks have their own special challenge. That's the red star in the map. Uh, the only one that's mandatory though is the the one you can kill the preps. Yeah, so get the fuck out of my way. What else is available? These things in my damn way. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Alright, so, yeah. We got a few different things we can do. But I'm gonna do um, the prep challenge first. Uh, because every challenge you do unlocks a new save location. Like the boys' dorm, dorm has like the bed to go to sleep in and like the same spot. Uh, yeah. Show him who's a wiener. I told him I'd be his friend. Say what? Here we go. But this was integral to the story, so that's why it's mandatory, unlike the other ones. Hmm. Maybe I can use this to my advantage. A dream home worth a million dollars, huh? The losers are busted! Be glad I don't enter the break! Come on! Make him bleed! Oh, shit. Alright, let's whip this dude's ass. There's a couple of times in this game where you got a box. Now, this is one of them. His left eye looks swollen! Ain't too bad. This, uh, we're about to have to fight three dudes, and this is the first guy. He's not bad. I can do so much better, you know. Uh, yeah. This one's a little bit harder, but still ain't bad. I don't think I've ever lost the prep challenge. Don't even really have to dodge. It's a wonder Hopkins is still standing. I just hold down L1 the whole time and then spam square. Fifty dollars says but... that Hopkins is going to bite it. Okay, so this no, dude's actually. I've got a lot of money to bet on this. Hopkins, you're pathetic. I've got a lot of money to bet on this. Suck at dodging. I, mean, ooh, I thought I did it. I pressed X, but I was just slow. Damn. We're actually gonna go into round two. Oh, don't worry. And he's doing better Jimmy's than me. I'll do a round really? against Hopkins after this fight. If there's anything left. We're still like at the I same I still like... think Hopkins will lose. <laughs> That's Shit, I think I did dodge that one. Do. 
Hopkins is surprisingly oh, tough. Yeah, there we go. Dodge that. Oh, fuck. Hopkins, you're pathetic. I could do so much better, you know? <laughs> That's the best you can I was do. holding eggs. Whatever. He's out. Another dude here in a minute. Parker, I think his name is. I don't know if I remember that. Yeah, it is him. Oh shit. Swollen. Nowadays, everybody thinks they're a boxer. We want blood. Uh, that reminds me, I was just thinking, um, a couple weeks ago I did a live stream of me playing Fortnite, and I was doing like a taste test or prime on hydration drink. I've never had one before prior to that stream. Uh, so I had like my first one. Um, I just read the other day, apparently, they're facing... Uh, like a lawsuit, allegations of like a drink containing like this carcinogen. There's another round after this. Forever chemicals, I think it's called. I don't know. You can look it up. And... Move like a bee, sting like a uh, bee. It's like, oh, don't worry. Uh, Jimmy's tough. I drink a flowberry and uh, <laughs> I drink a glue a glowberry, and now my blood hurts. Hopkins, you're pathetic. You're not missing anything. It's, it's a wonder like, Hopkins is still it's like apple juice with leukemia in it. I could do so much better, you know. But the Paul dude, whatever, he says that it's like that chemicals from, comes from plastic, so it's not the the drink, it's the bottle. Whatever. Either way, supposedly it's not bad. It's not good for you. Done. Hmm. There's a little problem. Your parents have to be members of the board for you to be eligible. Tell you what, old chap. We'll give you that old abandoned beach house. Should be nice once you clean it up. Hey, we're not doing too bad for ourselves. Got a beach house at age 15. That was really weird. It's sounded like somebody was honking at the camera. Like it loaded in the street to show us the, the place and that car just happened to go, be going by. That's weird. There was never any doubt. You already got fed. If you feed more, you're gonna get fat. One of my cats is already fat. She got uh, an eating disorder. Sorry. I don't want to fat shame my cat, I just, you know, I want her to be healthy, you know, because when your ass gets old, it's going to be hard for you to do all that jumping around you love to do. I don't want you getting like, hurting joints and whatnot. Oh man, please don't knock over my monster. I'll cry. Oh, the other cat's coming downstairs, the one that's in heat. Great. <laughs> What the hell is going on back there? Are you good? That's a weird sound. Never heard her made that before, but Pro challenge. I'd just save. Oh, whatever. Just be on the safe side. Alright, I'm gonna go to bed. Get up here. Quit saying that. <laughs> what I tell you about saying that. Abel, you better be nice. She can't help it. Girl. Um, anyway, this is the beach house. Okay. Um, shit, so what is first to do today? Mm -hmm. I guess it depends on what class we got.
You guys want to see a pirate? Yeah, like an actual pirate. Check it out. Swim back here. And there's an actual, like, pirate that you can fight. It's a shipwreck. Art 3? Damn, I don't want to miss that. Why is this stuff lying around everywhere? I'll try to hurry. Can only go so fast. See that shipwreck? Here he is up here on this island. Okay, buddy, you asked for it. Try and head back as quickly as possible. I don't remember what time class lets out. It might be 11, so I might not make it in time. I'm spamming X, but shit, that's all I can do. My best bet, honestly, is to take the bus. And then, like, when I get back, like, attack a prefect, because then they'll just take me to class. Already missing health, so it's not like I'm gonna have shield that I'll lose out on. Almost there. Come on, come on. It's best stop. I think I'm more I think I'm too late already though. Kitty. What if you guys can hear that? She's just like rrr, rrr. the damn bird. I got no tolerance. Oh Yeah, just attack him. When will Straight to class. Learn? Thanks, bud. That actually helps me out a lot. Baby. I you told know. you I'd bring Sorry. you down! You don't get my respect by yelling at me. In this assignment, I'd like you to pay particular really? attention actually. to the emotions you experience and try to get them onto the page. Try to get them onto the page. Alright, see if I can do this while dying. Oh, shit. As if the scissors touch you, take damage, or you die, you know, either way. Very pleasing work. You ain't gotta tell me. Kick it! Seventy-five percent health bonus. Jimmy comes through again. It's helpful. Uh. Oh wow. Hey buddy, that's my girl. Harden. Sorry, dog. Hey, what's up? Anything going on? Boring. Man, that's so rude. Hurts my feelings. I think I'm gonna go cry. All right. Um. You're my friend. Right? Right. Oh yeah. There's no chemistry set. Beach house. Paper routes. Eggs. Move to. Okay. 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 I know we're done. Check these. No, that's gonna get on my damn nerves. Seeing that pop up. 
Um, yeah. First mission I'm gonna do is call it movie tickets. It's not too bad. And then after that, there's a couple stores I'm gonna have to go to for reasons that you'll find. Sequel of the movie. Yeah, here we are. Hey, Jimmy Hopkins. Do I know you? No, I'm Pinky, but I know all about you. Everybody's talking about you. Everybody says that you're mean and angry and you like fighting. Huh. Gary said you're so mad because you're sexually confused. Yeah, well, Gary talks a lot of crap. Oh, I know. I don't like him. He likes to torture people. So what? He's not going to torture me. Well, I'm glad you're not sexually confused. Really? Yeah, I like you, Jimmy Hopkins. Oh, yeah? But I need you to do something for me. What a surprise. I'm last in line, and this movie means everything to me. I'm gonna get terrible seats. Can you please get rid of all these people for me? Please, Jimmy. What's in it for me? I'm a princess! Oh. And I need people to do things for me. So hurry up, because I want to be first! Oh, man. All right. He seems to have a hard time telling very specific Maybe people I should no. Join a sports I would team. just die of embarrassment if anyone knew I bought it on Why sale. Why doesn't mom divorce okay. the bum? Oh, could dad have money anyway? You won't escape me! See me escaping. It's just not fair! I'll take care of some of them. I don't see why something like this should happen. Yeah, you run in the wrong direction. Uh, what now? Why do poor people have to be so rude? Maybe. Genetic or something? For you, baby. There we go. So. Thanks, Jim. I also forgot Seriously. to mention. Thank you. There are actually uh, gay characters in this game. I think like at, at least one guy in every click is gay. And you don't really know until you start talking to them, like, because you can communicate with people, and if you just keep talking to them for a while, eventually a heart will come up. So, uh, those two dudes that are over there, like, here in a minute, like, you're, they're gonna run away just from us walking towards them. I think there is some shit there that they took out of the game, because it was fucking homophobic, because, see how they're holding hands? Approach Trent and Kirby. And then they just run away. <laughs> I just want to cool. play sports, that's all! I think... That's great, Jimmy! You're, you're meant to, like, harass them. If only them you'd been born into my social circle. They get and run away. Well, I do have a few uses, you know. Oh, really? Well, you know, nice girls like nice flowers. Anyway, here's some money. It's the least I could do. And it's daddy's, anyways. The show's about to start, but come see me sometime. We can work through these class issues we have. Oh, I'll work through your class issues all right, sweetie. Hilarious. Yeah, the preps didn't seem to like that one. Oh well. Nice work, Jimmy. Uh... That's not trash. Listen, pal, it doesn't really interest me. We actually have time to go to class. I think. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then come back. Because uh, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to this like hair salon and this like clothing store to make myself look like a prep. Uh, so I don't have to do it later. Cause you need to do it for like a certain mission. And then um, the eggs, and then there's gonna be another mission. Carnival day that pops up. Oh, I'm gonna away because it's it's in a different building. Forgot about that. Gym two. Um, I think it's just dodgeball. Like I said, I I don't think you get anything for doing the mission. Oh hell! I 
don't really remember the controls for dodgeball, but it's not hard. So. Do that real quick. Alright, hell yeah. Alright, you feckless maggots! We'll be playing dodgeball for the next while! Ah, dodgeball! How I love the sound of boys crying in the morning! Much like real life, the strongest will prevail! Alright, you lazy bums! Look alive! I want everyone to give their best, boys! Their best! I don't even mean to you buy my victory against the likes of Everyone you. Everyone on this team is special! Yeah! There's nothing you to fear but team fear itself! Hey, you else? better be ready to lose, cause I'm ready to win! I'll show you who's the best. Me! Yeah. Why are you even trying? Oh, okay. You are going to be left in the dust as usual. Here we go. <laughs> Prepare to taste the bitter fruit of law! This is my time to shine, so just know that! I don't even need to buy my victory against the likes of you! Oh yeah! How great was Which that? One of you There's also a cheat where, up. like, if you're about to get hit, you can press the help menu, and it'll, like, cancel out you getting hit. Don't forget that! Oh, that's funny. Part. Not bad. Fight to the finish! That's gym two. I don't think we. Let me see. I don't think we get. Any, oh, accuracy that was upgrade. Great. Okay, that's helpful. Another job well done. Right, so there's that class. Oh, I'm your toy. What kind of toy? Sex toy. Hopefully. <clears throat> okay. Probably because he's the, the gay character. And watch you bleed. Hang on, I have to beat the shit out of this cocksucker real quick. He has like the most health out of anyone in the game. And he's like second, so. Get out of my way! My best bet is actually to just run away. Whatever, I'll kick your ass later. Yeah, this shit's be doing. Carnival date doesn't pop up till later in the game. We go to the stores, then I'm gonna do that mission called the AIDS. The AIDS. Ah! Let's go hit by a car. It's not paying attention. Is it? Uh, I think it's this place. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Cause there's a barbershop and there's an actual hair salon. What you want? This is where I gotta go for like... Yeah. Like in Grand Theft Auto, you just... Maria now. Kinda... Bro, you go to the barbershop and grow hair. And then this clothing store up here. You need an Aquaberry sweater. Or just Aquaberry anything. Hello. You know you should try the new Aquaberry vest. Very popular with the better class of students. Wait. Buy stuff. Oh. There you go. Kind of pricey, but... It's alright. Goodbye, and thank Got you for shopping back. with me. Oh, what is going on? It's like all right. the walls and stuff. I don't. I've never even gotten all the rubber bands. I don't even know where all of them are. Truthfully, I can do either one of these. I do Carnival Day real quick because it's not mandatory and it's only like at certain points in time. You know what? Hey. Calm down. Oh, one cat gets so pissed off at the other one for making those noises. So, this is how you treat a girl? Well, not me. What are you talking about? We had a date, and you are three minutes late. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we really didn't. 
But look, I remembered how much you like flowers. Oh, damn. That wasn't you. That was Darby. Well, he's late. I cannot believe he's done this to me. Oh, and those are so beautiful. Three minutes. What does he think I am? A tramp? Ugh. I hope something important happened. Like he's dead. Because otherwise, there's no excuse. Did you say you're waiting for Darby? Yes. I don't really like him, but he's my cousin and our family wants us to get married. You know, keep up the tradition. Wait, marry your cousin? You know, it used to be brother and sister until it was made illegal. My aunt has four thumbs. Really? Yeah, well, I'm not marrying him now. He's humiliated me. So, uh, what do you say you and I go out and leave Darby to another cousin? Great. You know, I'll meet you at the carnival tonight. Jimmy, I'm really starting to like you. So yeah, now I think we already we already have the tickets. Keep going to the wrong damn screen. Wait, so I don't want to do the math. I have like about ten. I don't know. So, yeah. We're gonna go on to the carnival. Um. You just have to win, like, tickets uh, for a teddy bear and give it to her and then you pass the mission. And then Pinky likes you and then that's another lady that you can get shield from, basically. Oh, hey. Where is that crazy chick? Hey, Jimmy! Glad to see you're on time, unlike some of my other dates. What are we waiting for? Let's go have some fun. Hey, wait up! Yes, yeah, me a teddy bear, won't you, Jimmy? I already have I'm the easily tickets. Swayed by so. present, you know. This was so exciting. <laughs> we didn't even do anything. Here's your trash! <laughs> I mean, prize. Oh well. Hey, that was an easy mission. Oh, cool! Thanks, Jimmy! It's so cute! Thanks for a great date, Jimmy. You're such a bad boy, Jimmy! It's the very... Simple. Another day. This game is fun. Hey, that's one of the uh, little people. And there's nothing wrong with that. Enjoy. Hey you. Yeah, you. I knew there was another one. I think this is the last one, actually. So yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. Yeah, yeah it's about time for me to get off here soon, anyway. 15 minutes or so. Unfortunately. I would love nothing more than to just sit here and play this game. All day long. Just become one with the couch. Yeah, I think this is the last one. Gotta raise the racers. And they're good at racing, so. Oh shit! God. Too bad. They're too busy ramming into each other. Use that to your advantage. Yeah, see, there you go. Still got multiple laps to complete yet, though. And then after this. You'll unlock three street races. Um, you can only do two of them right now. The third one you have to wait until you're on chapter five to do. That's why you have. To, that's why you gotta. Uh, that's why you can only get the, the go kart chapter five. There used to be a glitch. They fixed it. Um, some of the copies of the game, like during the Halloween mission, I think it was. You can like during chapter one you can leave. Uh, school by like, clicking to a wall. So you, technically, you can do that to unlock the go card. Uh, chapter one. 
the reason you do it during the Halloween mission is because uh, time doesn't go by, so you don't have to worry about passing out. I've seen a video on it, but I've, I've tried to do it, and it, it doesn't work anymore. Or maybe it's just on certain copies of the game that I don't have, like, I don't know, maybe it's like an Xbox thing, or, uh, I, I don't know, I really don't know. Actually, I, 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 I've only ever played the regular version of Bully, except one time. Uh, the Scholarship Edition, I played it once. Uh, a buddy of mine had it on his Xbox One S, or X, or whatever. I played it a little bit on there. Um, it looks a little bit better, and then they have, like, extra classes and extra missions and stuff like that. I unlocked the go-kart for him and got some tattoos, oh, Jimmy and then, uh, and I can wipe you out. You know, there's, like, biology where you can dissect a frog, I did that, and then there's a math class. I didn't do that, but I'm guessing you just do equations or something like that. I should teach lessons or something. Yeah, so, let's see, here you go. Just unlock the street races. I'll ride this roller coaster. Brave lad. Come Just on. because. Is this thing safe? Probably not. Ninety-nine time now. Oh wow! The bitch is always throwing up. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Yeah, he was doing something goofy. Where is? Oh yeah, there we go. My go kart. Uh. Oh yeah, Panty Raid and the Diary, those are two that you can only do at night. They're also not mandatory. Uh. <sighs> Shit, I'm gonna really try to do the Diary. Uh, before it gets too late in the game. It's a, another like Beatrice versus Mandy type deal. Turn on this thing's kind of bad too. Kind of have to drift. That's the only way to get it to work. Keep doing that, and I'll beat you. <laughs> hey, Beatrice, what's wrong? Two things. Firstly, my cold sores are totally acting up what? again. What? Ew, gross. Secondly, Mr. Hatrick saw me writing in my diary during class, and he took it and he locked it in his desk. And he says he's going to give it to the principal tomorrow. If anyone sees what's in there, I will just die. It's really personal. Yeah, well, nothing like having the whole school know your deepest secrets. Makes your teenage years go by in a flash. Yeah, well, you'll soon find out. Me? Why? In the diary, I talk a lot about you and me. What? There is no you and me. Yeah, yeah, there is. See, first you rescued my notes from Mandy, and then we fell in love, and oh, you brought me flowers, what? and wrote me poetry, and showed this kinder, sensitive side that soon the whole world is going to know about. We're like doomed lovers. Enough. OK, I'll get your book back. Then we can kiss. The cold sores aren't contagious once they start to scab over. That was a wild ride. Everything that she just said. Um, <laughs> this mission ain't hard. The only tricky part about it is that you have to do a little bit of trespassing. 
being in school after hours and whatnot. It's still like not bad. Yeah, you just gotta break into the teacher's lounge, basically. I can use that. Hard. Let's see. Identify oh yeah, as soon as I walk in there, somebody's after me. Dude, there's a math room, they just didn't do a math class. There is more to this. Shit. There's another guy over here, too. Like, here it is. Hey, you can pause and read that if you want to. Now all we got to do is return this. Too bad, not too bad. After that, yeah, that'll that'll conclude the stream for today. Better to have my fuckers wanting more than to wishing it, than to have them wishing it was over. Are. Did you get it? Yes, I did. And I didn't read it. Much. Much obliged. <sighs> that was exactly as I'd expect. 20 bucks, huh? Done and done right. Uh, you can still do Panty Ray, but it's like, it's kind of hard, so it's like... I'm gonna do it pretty early, as soon as it's available. Yeah, have plenty of time to complete the mission before passing out. Hi. That shit sucks, failing the mission because of that. Especially when you made decent progress in it. <laughs> Rooms come together nicely. In migrations. Various things you get from eating missions in the game. Okay, so you can use this once a day, so. What if I do? Love breaking that chair. Hey, Rosa! <laughs> yeah, you! You stop! Wow, what's going on out here? I've never checked this bulletin. Already 15 notes. I hate how everyone wants equality, you know? I need the concepts to grasp. I'm smart, and they're not. So true. Have you ever been popular? I thought about it once. So, there's this game, it's like 2D, and the, uh, there's a 3D version of it in uh, the Breach House. So you didn't want to... Bullworth is the worst school ever. That window's been broken six times this week. So true. Where the hell is my, uh... What's it called? You really squashed my cupcake dickus! You're gonna wish you had a bodyguard! Give me that. Take that away from me. Come on, Damn, the dude smacked me in the back of the Knock your ass out with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> uh, don't feel like saving. Another yet. one for the collection. 
Surprise there's how me and a friend actually did this in school. We took a fire extinguisher off the wall, took it in the bathroom, and just sprayed it everywhere. There's actually video footage of that. Um, <laughs> if you're interested, I'll point you in the right di direction for viewing. Shop two. I guess that's what we'll start. Wanna start playing again? God, I don't want to get off of here. <laughs> Now it's time to go to work. I don't want to go to work. I want to hide in this trash can. And then be able to find me. Trash can. Hear that dude's heartbeat. Alright, yep, that concludes the stream for the day. Thank you all for watching. Constitutional guarantees of liberty and free speech do not apply to students.